The American dream is that any man or woman, despite of his or her background, can change their circumstances and rise as high as they are willing to work. Due to economic and political issues, Candace Dee was forced to migrate to the United States from China at the tender age of 15. Her parents wanted a better life for their children and wanted to ensure that they would be afforded opportunities that would not be offered to them in China. I met Candace through my aunt and I have known her for years. Every time that I was around her, she was always so kind and respectful. It just so happens that Candace is now my four-year-old brother's preschool teacher. I approached her about telling her story, and she was happy to do so. She explained to me that she is very grateful to be where she is today in life. She has a loving husband and a beautiful family of her own, which is something that she has always dreamed of having. Although she always wanted a family, her biggest dream was to get an education. Candace is from the countryside of China, which is extremely rural. There were limited opportunities for education and to make a living there. The only thing that Candace would have been able to do was get married and raise a family. Her family saw a different vision for their children, and they came to America with only $200 in their pockets. It took over 10 years for Candace and her family to legally migrate into America. When Candace's family left China, they left several family members behind, and to this day, there are several family members who still live in China. Upon leaving China, Candace's family settled in Oakland, California. When Candace arrived to the United States, she could not speak English. She says that she was very scared and it took a while for her family to get on their feet financially. On top of struggling financially at home, Candace had to learn how to read and write all over again. Starting with learning the alphabet in English, she had a very hard time adjusting in America and making friends. Candace eventually got used to living in America and was the first person in her family to go to college. She attended the University of Hawaii. Candace's parents were very hard on her as a child, especially her mother. Candace's mother wanted her to do better than she did. Her parents wanted her to become a lawyer or a doctor, but Candace always dreamed of being a teacher. She says that she loves children and loves to help people, so becoming a teacher was a good fit for her life. She remembers how her teachers took their time in helping her when she couldn't speak English. Candace has been working as a teacher for over 15 years. Candace now has a beautiful family of her own, and she is very grateful for all the opportunities that her kids will be afforded in the future. Candace often visits China and wonders what her life will be like if she never left. She says that China is completely different now, and there are more opportunities to make a living, and technology has changed things, but people still have limited rights. Although her family struggled, Candace is grateful for the fresh start that America offered her family and the rights that American people are fortunate to have. Candace is proud to be Chinese American.